Well, we can go now to our business presenter, Mariam Mashiri. She's in Newark looking at how it's had to change since the financial crash. Mariam, over to you. Hi. Joanna, thank you very much indeed. Yes, I'm here in Newark on Trent. It is very much a typical market town in the East Midlands, and it's very much a typical market, as you can see here. Plenty of stalls selling all kinds of foods, garden ornaments, vegan food, flowers, the works. The market's been here since the 12th century, but times really did change 10 years ago after the financial crisis. You heard in that piece that after the financial crisis 10 years ago, the earnings in the East Midlands took a big hit, over 6% lower. That's almost as bad as London and pretty much one of the worst in the country. So how has that impacted the market? Well, the number of traders in this market have fallen by a third over the past 10 years. And it has to be said, times are tough and the market has changed very much from what it was like in 2008. I'm joined now by Ian Harrison, who is from the town council, and also Julia Shepherd, who is a market stallholder here in Newark. Ian, first of all, to you. How has the market changed since the 2008 financial crisis? OK, 10 years ago, we would have had a queue of casual traders waiting to be allocated a stall in the morning. There is no queue now. What's the difference? I mean, why do you think things have changed so drastically? Well, the traders will only come if the spend taking place. And I'm afraid the spend has dropped off in, on high streets in general over the last 10 years. And what do you think, what are traders saying to you about the way things are now? What are the things that are putting them off most of all, apart from the spend? Is it the way that people shop as well? Yeah, I think it's a change in the behaviour of how people shop with online and supermarkets, but it's also people are more careful now than they were 10 years ago, we think. Like in what sense are they more careful? Uh, they're more careful with the money in the pocket. They haven't got it to spend, they won't spend it. OK, Julia, you've had a market store here for many years, haven't you? Before the financial crisis, you had a full-time job and then you, you, you lost your job. Yes, that's right. Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I was a chef. Um, before that and I lost my job um, and I couldn't get another job for quite some time and so I decided to go back to something that I did well way back in the 80s I was on this market b back then you know and, and as Ian was saying it was very very buoyant then and um, you did you literally had to queue for a stall in the, mo in the mornings why do you think things have changed? Well, um, I think it is because of people haven't got the money to spend. Um, but I feel possibly with the things I sell, I possibly do quite well because um, people like upcycling this, the, these days and people haven't got the money to spend on new items, so they will go for the sort of thing that I sell. And do you have to change the way that you sell things as well to attract more people? Well, you do, yes. You have to have a good variety of stuff. I sell all types of things um, and keep my prices reasonable. And you do, you have to go with the market, basically, and, and you know, look at the market and see how the trends are changing. And uh, when you buy, you know, buy accordingly, really, to suit the market. Ian, our research, the research from the Institute of Fiscal Studies, uh, which was requested by the BBC, shows that the East Midlands are one of the hardest hit regions in terms of loss of earnings. Does that surprise you? Um, no, not particularly. No, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, but I will say there are signs that a resurgence is taking place and investment is being made. Um, and the smiles perhaps are coming back on, on shoppers that certainly around the market these days. But we're having to do things differently. We're having to provide an experience rather than just retail. So what kind of difference do you think investment is going to make? Well, hopefully we'll get people back into the town centre and to spend. Um, that's what we hope and that's what we intend will take place. And Julia, back to you. You've had this store for many years now. What are your hopes for the future here in Newark Market? Well, let's hope that it continues to improve. I mean, um, the, the way the market, um, you know, the way the council are... Um, promoting it is really good and we can see a resurgence and it really is you know this this the atmosphere it's a really really good atmosphere and it will bring the people into the town i think and it'll do the town good because markets are wonderful i think the, the british institution they really are and, and new york market is a fabulous place and so yeah it'd be great to see it improve over the years i know i have actually people here have been very friendly and there's plenty of choice despite the fact there are a third fewer traders here than there were 10 years ago there's plenty of choice out there isn't there for people who want to come along oh definitely definitely yes i'd say to people support your local market you know it's, it would be a shame to see the market die the whole market square everything it's a beautiful place and it's great to see people coming back into it 
Okay, Julia Shepherd and Ian Harrison, thank you very much indeed. So it has to be said, had the financial crisis not happened, according to the research from the IFS, earnings in this region would be 17% higher than they are today. But on a positive note, to end on a positive note, the council and local businesses are all talking about the importance of regeneration and investing money to make the future different to how the past has been. Back to you. Thank you very much, Mariam.